Hello, my name is Lacey Ayer, and today I'm going to show you a tutorial of getting started with Google Slides through the use of an iPad. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is to click on the app with the Google Slide page. Once you click on the app, it immediately takes you into any previously stored slides you may be working on. Down at the bottom, there is a plus sign to create something new. You can choose from a template or you can create a new presentation blank by clicking the pencil. Once you create the presentation, you must first title it and hit create. You will immediately be presented with a blank slide for your title page. At the very top, you can see the title of your doc is there and then also you have some tools. You have two arrows, one to the left and one to the right. These are used for undoing and redoing any work that any work that you may have on your slide. The plus sign is used for presenting. The person with the plus sign is used for sharing your doc. And the other plus sign is used for inserting shapes, images, and text into your presentation. The comment is used to communicate between you and a teacher or a student and a teacher. And then lastly, the three little dots are used for changing your theme of your presentation, which there are pre-made themes, and sharing and exporting. Another important feature within Google Slides is inserting more than just your one slide. You can do this by clicking the button down on the bottom left. Here, by clicking this button, you have lots of different options to choose. So just choosing one, you just click it and it automatically inserts it into your presentation. Some more features are by double tapping into box into the box and you will notice that you have lots of options. The B will allow you to have bold text. The I will allow you to have italicized text. If you don't want either of those, you can just click off of them. You can also underline your text with the U. You can change your text color with the A and by choosing your color, you can also highlight text by choosing a color and then highlighting over your writing. You can change your margins at the top, one to the left, one to the middle, or even one to the right. You can create bulleted list if needed, as well as numbers as list if needed. You can indent your work with the indention tools. One also unique feature is changing the background color of your slide or your text box. It also has options of pre-made ones for you as well. Then you, one more time, can change the border of your text box by choosing the pen with the border. And lastly, you can change the weight of your border and your line by clicking on the lines to the left. Another unique way to change um, your presentation style of writing would be by clicking the A at the top. You can change your font to something new. You can do all the same options with bold, italicized, and underlining. You can also change your text color here. And if you scroll down, you can highlight or clear it back to normal. Paragraph allows you to move your borders. And shape allows you to insert shapes into your presentation. If you want to insert a picture, you just click the plus sign and image, and you can get this from your camera roll that you already have saved, or you can get it by taking a picture from your camera at that moment. So these are just some unique tools that you can use to make a presentation on Google Slides through the version of the iPad. So again, that is how you use Google Slides, the iPad version, to help with building presentations that can be easily shared and exported through your Google Drive. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other resources.